What should brands know today to do digital video right? It's a big question. Um, brands doing digital video well today are being very sensitive to the realities of the media. Online video is very different than traditional broadcast video. And from my perspective and from the perspective of uh, third party independent measurement, what Visible Measures does, is TV watching the video is the, or watching the, the, the stream is the end of the experience. Where in online, it's the beginning of the experience. You watch and then you comment and you braid, you forward and you embed. And if you're really into what's going on, you might download and remix it and mash it up and re upload it. And so we often say at Visible Measures, online video is a full contact sport. And those brand advertisers which acknowledge that and which give um, creative uh, concepts, uh, interaction mechanisms, and media plans that reflect that are the ones who are doing really well. The ones who basically take 30 second spots on air and try to shove it down people's throat on pre-roll, not so much, right? So it really is a very different consumer experience and those brands that embrace the realities of online video you know, stand to do really, really well. The audience is there, the audience is engaged and, and there's great precedent for um, target consumers to engage in branded video content online. So we see a lot of opportunity out there but it's going to require a lot of change on behalf of the, the folks who are producing and, and selling. Today in your presentation, you said that the brands that were doing it right are rehumanizing themselves through all these new technologies, and I thought that was a really interesting point. Could you elaborate more on what you meant by that? Sure. I think um, what's very interesting about online video is the social nature of the web mixed with the narrative possibilities of, of video storytelling. And at the end of the day, people connect with other people, right? We often say, well, other people connect with the brand, but at the end of the day, it's a very human interaction. And so the sort of odd irony to the online video world today is, it allows brands to tell their stories, but allows the consumers to connect on a human-to-human -human level. And so guess what? These brands are becoming humanized, right? And um, that's really great for brands and personalities and stars that have historically felt very distant and very removed, but can also be sort of humbling at the same time when uh, aspects of the brand get out that perhaps people didn't want to see before. So it's definitely a double-edged sword, but um, Online video is merging with social interaction to create person-to-person -person connection, and again, those brands that embrace that can really do well. According to the IAB's Internet Advertising Revenue Report for 2008, um, digital video more than doubled from $324 million for the full year to $735 million. What do you think is the prime driver for that growth? Um, the growth in digital video advertising has been phenomenal. Um, uh, and I think it's growing because it works, right? I mean, there's ad dollars don't go particularly in that sort of speed and that sort of volume on speculation, they go on results. So, you know, visible measures, we are all about measuring both content and advertising campaigns. And when they're measured holistically in end-to-end -end fashion, um, the parts that are paid, the parts that are captive, the parts that are syndicated, the parts that are social, the ROI can be really off the charts. And those brands which started in experimentation mode and then measured holistically are really seeing fabulous returns, so they're doubling down and investing more because it's in their economic best interest to do so. Um, at the same time, from our perspective as an independent third-party measurement company, we see the 700 plus million in online video compared to some of what's spent in cable and broadcast and see a lot of room for growth. So um, it's one of the reasons why we're big supporters of the IAB and supporters of the, the move towards standardized metrics and measurement and process because to the extent that brands can get comfortable with the metrics they receive and really have confidence and trust that the results are real, we believe it will greatly accelerate the transition of dollars into this, into this format, and guess what we all win, right? So the more dollars get spent on brand advertising and online video, the more companies are able to grow, the more people are staying employed. So really, the IAB stands at the center of, of that, we believe, and that's why we're such big supporters.